everyday carry. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. It's all over YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook. But the reality is we all have an EDC, whether we know it or not. Phone, your wallet, your keys. These are things that we all carry every day. And I would argue that the things we carry and the way that we use them can tell you quite a lot about a person. Now, whether I'm at home or I'm out or I'm in the office, there are two things that never leave my pockets. The phone is still the Huawei P30 Lite you would have seen in the last EDC video. The only difference is I've got a nice matte black case. Honestly, I can't believe this thing is still going. I bought this about four years ago. It was a third of the price of my previous iPhones, but so far it's lasted twice as long. In the other pocket is the one piece leather bifold. This is the minimalist wallet V2 you might have seen on the channel before. I've been getting on really well with this since I made it super clean, compact, easy to access, and it even has magnets. The watch is the same Loris chronograph that I showed you guys in the previous EDC video, although now this is very much reserved purely for professional use. I have other watches that I tend to wear day to day. I really do love this watch because not only is it a great classic design that kind of goes with anything, but more importantly, it was a gift, so it does mean a lot to me. I do also carry keys like anyone else. This is just a fee shackle, house keys, and the classic pry bar that you would have seen in previous videos. More compact than the previous setup using the leather keychain, um, but it still jingles around, which I find really annoying. So when I get to work, I end up just putting this in my bag, so it never really stays in my pocket. I'm gonna try and find a way to address that. Speaking of bags, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but first I wanna mention a duo of items that I collectively call the Daily Commute. First up, Bluetooth headphones from Sony. I do not have AirPods, like seemingly everyone, but these are pretty much a close equivalent. Great for listening to music or for podcasts if I just wanna learn some really random pointless facts. Second piece of the Daily Commute is the Kindle Paperwhite. This is the 11th gen. Honestly, not worlds apart from my original 7th gen that I bought in 2014, but it is a little faster and sharper and brighter, so I'm kinda happy that I forgot my old one back in the UK. This is the only thing in my carry that is not matte black. Um, I don't know, just fancied a bit of color for a change. I'm currently using the Kenneth Cole Reaction Bow Leather Shoulder Bag. This was originally designed as just a budget placeholder until I could get a chance to make my own leather bag. But honestly, all kidding aside, it's actually served me pretty well so far. Decent lining, tons of pockets, sturdy zips. Uh, it's generally pretty well built. So if you don't want to spend a ton of money or if you're not really into real leather, then for less than 70 bucks, it's, it's a pretty sound option. So moving on to the main part of the video and probably the reason you're here, the in-office EDC. Obviously one of the most important parts of any office EDC is the pen. And I personally like to carry two pens, one with black ink and one with blue. The first is the Parker Jotta in matte black. Honestly, this is my favorite pen of all time. I've had so many of these over the years. I've had plastic ones, I've had stainless steel ones. And when I realized that they make a matte black one now, I, I just had to have it. it. Takes Parker refills, obviously, and for 25 bucks, I really don't think you can find better value anywhere. Secondly, from a company I only recently discovered, this is the Rotring 600. Just a little bit more money than the Parker, this thing really is built like a tank. It's got a full metal hexagonal body with knurling at both ends. This, this thing is just the pen that any engineer would dream of. The only thing missing here is a good mechanical pencil. I, I do have one, but it's just, it's not it's not matte black. So I do have my eye on the Rotring two millimeter mechanical pencil, which looks very much the same as this pen. And the tips are much thicker, much closer to a normal pencil, but I really haven't made up my mind yet. So I'm definitely open to suggestions if you guys have any better ideas. And with that, I have a faux leather notebook, black, of course. I don't actually know what brand this is. I got it somewhere in the UK but it's very similar to something like the Moleskine Classic Notebook, which is probably what I'll be replacing this with when the time comes. Next up, not something that everyone needs at the office, but I do carry a relatively high powered torch. But as part of my work, I do occasionally find myself inspecting construction work and things like that. So it's kind of nice just to have this 
can want to look down a, a hole or a long pipe or something. It's just really, it feels better having it in my pocket. Like a lot of my carry, this isn't from a brand that's typical of the EDC crowd. This is actually a cheap torch from a company called Solon Security, but this so happens to be the exact torch that was issued to me when I was working as a police officer in the UK. It's pretty bright and it's actually got a very narrow beam. So you can see a long way with it. And I just I distinctly remember being out on duty, looking for a guy in a, in a big field, a suspect that run away. And you could see right across the field with this thing. So it, it, it's, it's a nice little performer. Other miscellaneous items, blue light glasses, in case I'm working late at the office. Not the most stylish, but uh, they, they do the job. This pocket here, I have an emergency tie. We don't actually wear ties at my office, um, but I like to have this just in case I get called to some important meeting I wasn't expecting or, you know, the president stops by. And finally, in this outside pocket, a portable power bank. This is the 22,000 milliamp hour, I think, from Anchor. Not really that necessary. I don't have an iPhone that I need to charge every five minutes, but I think it's good to have it. Bonus points if you can charge it at work because, you know, energy prices, 